Well, I wasn't exactly planning on doing a uh, circuit board repair today, but here we are. If I pull this open... Well, I'll just hold it up here. You can see there... There we go. If you look right here where my finger is, you can see broken solder, and it's not just the solder, it uh, ripped up the pad. Can you see that there? So, I wasn't planning on doing a circuit board repair, but hey, now that the soldering iron should be hot, and uh, the board is propped up, I can now uh, try to repair this, uh, what's left of this. It's never going to be perfect, but yeah, but uh, hopefully I'll fi be able to fix this. So I'm assuming what happened is that the per previous owner of this, because this wasn't us that did this, but the previous owner of this TV uh, was using it when it was plugged into this power jack, and then they dropped it, and then that... Uh, and then the act well actually here we go here we go. Um here's a uh power jack. So let's see if I can recreate this here. Give me a moment. So what probably happened is that uh it when it hit the ground it bent like that and uh, cracked the trace. That's one. That's the only thing I can think of what happened, and also this not only uh, affects this power jack, it also stops the batteries from working too, because uh, there's actually a little micro switch in here, and uh, and actually the battery connector, those two little solder connections there, that's your battery. And when it cracked, it broke the connection between here and uh, to the TV. So. Fixing this should also restore the battery compartment functionality. So as you can see, it's clearly not pretty, but fingers crossed it works. I had to scrape away some of the enamel on the board. And uh, because of this, because of the bad tip on this iron, I couldn't do a great job. But yeah, I guess we'll put this back together and uh, try it for a test. How about that? Alright, so time for a test. Here's our power jack. We'll see if I can lean it up here. We'll see if I can do this here. So, I, so you guys can watch. Plug it in. We'll be a bit careful. Come back to the front. And power. And how about that? We fixed it. Yeah. There we go, that turns down the sound. Now we can actually pump video into this. I have a cable thing set up. Here's my uh, AV cable. See if I can keep it away from the soldering iron. I don't want to melt it. So, plug in video. And audio. And there we go. Uh, where's my there's my mouse. See, it's uh, it's now working. So, thanks for watching, and uh, more to come later.